Welcome everybody. My name is Mickey Ferrance and I'm a content manager here at Bonita Soft. And this week I have the privilege of hosting the Bonita Live Tour 2019 with you. Now here online with me this morning are a few other folks. We have, for example, Gildas Nedo, who's the Chief Information Security Officer at McGill University Health Center. Jill Das will talk to me today about their automation project with Benita to manage the data security and the certification management processes they have there, among others. And also with us today is Delphine Quell. Delphine is Benita Evangelist and manager of our community. So if we're all ready to go, Jill Das, are you ready? We can get started. Are you ready to go? Yes. All right, so let me let me ask you just to start to explain briefly what exactly it is that uh, McGill Health Center does and what is it that your group does for McGill Health Center? Well, the, the McGill, uh, the MUHC, the McGill University Health Center is the biggest uh, healthcare center institution in Quebec, Canada. We are around uh, 20,000 employee and collaborators uh, over uh, spread over eight sites in Montreal. We are specialized in healthcare. In fact, we, have, we offer over 70 specialty services, health services, uh, more than 35,000 surgeries and uh, 700,000 uh, visits each year. We are involved in research. Uh, currently, we have uh, ongoing research collaboration with uh, more than 50 countries worldwide. And uh, we are specialized also in education as uh, McGill, uh, McGill University medical students and nursing students, they come in our facilities in order to do their internship and residency. So as you mentioned, me, I'm the Chief Information Security Officer of the MHC, and uh, my team and I are responsible for implementing the information security framework defined by Quebec government here, and uh, which contains most of information security processes and beside that, we also support uh, IT departments and uh, different sectors, stakeholders in their initiative in order to ensure that uh, they comply with uh, information security requirement and standard. Okay, so that's a good overview. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about the challenges that your group was facing and why you decided that you needed to uh, implement a digital transformation project with them. Yeah, well, uh, as I mentioned initially, uh, we have to support several sectors in their IT uh, initiatives. This means the implementation of uh, different clinical system, biomedical system, uh, means uh, to be involved in research projects that involve cloud-based application, cloud-based technology, AI, big data, and so on. And at the same time, we have to manage um, the corporate security programs like the information security awareness for 20,000 people. Uh, we have to manage identity and access management program. We need to implement several security processes like the risk assessment, audit management, incident management, and so on. And uh, we also need to collect and maintain uh, several KPIs in our security dashboard. And the most important to know is that uh, initially, I had to do all of this with uh, only six people. So it's clear that it was not realistic and uh, humanly possible. Uh, consequently, we had to find um, an efficient way to work in order to respond to what we were accountable for. So instead of uh, spending time asking continuously uh, for more resources, I decided to hire two additional developers instead of uh, security people in order to initiate the process automation strategy. So this is what you were up against, right? You needed to implement uh, something to help a small team manage, what did you say, 20,000 people yeah. that have to access for, they need access uh, rights on the system? Yeah. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> so why did you choose Bonita then? What oh. was it about Bonita that, that you said is gonna help you do this? Uh, in fact, uh, for many reasons. In fact, uh, initially, uh, as I said, uh, I was short staff and uh, had to, to cover a lot of uh, security processes 
And uh, at the same time, there was a very important uh, complexity <clears throat> in our, our reality uh, in terms of organization. For example, uh, I had to deal with uh, public institution procurement uh, process that required to get approval from healthcare ministry uh, for most of uh, IT system acquisition to go through a complex RFP process that was time consuming and uh, not really flexible. And generally, at the end, when uh, you finally bought something, most of the time uh, it doesn't exactly fit with what you are you were expecting. And um, at the same time, there are many functionality in those systems that you don't really use, either because of a lack of uh, maturity level or because um, its functionality don't you really need. So. Um, it's clear that um, we were in a situation where solutions we have were not always adapted, flexible and agile in order to fit our reality. So we have decided to consider a BPM, a business process automation solution. And as part of this initiative, I hired, uh, I think it was four years ago, at a, uh, an intern for a, for a seven week internship. And during this period, uh, this guy evaluated uh, different solutions on the market. And after that, and after that, we selected Bonita, and uh, he developed uh, in approximately four weeks a process that uh, should have taken probably three months. And uh, this was so impressive, especially because he didn't know, he didn't have any expertise in BPM solution before the internship. So wow. we decided to consider the solution. It was with Bonita. So we, did, we decided to consider the solution and to move forward with it. That's amazing. He did that in four months. He got you a, a working. He did that in four, four weeks. Months. Four weeks? That, Excuse me. Yeah, four weeks. Something that uh, probably should take uh, three months. Yeah. Okay, so that's a good start. I can yeah. see. I can see why you were encouraged to to keep going. So, yeah. did you end up using the the process, the application that he developed? Did you end up continuing and building on that for? Yeah, for so future that's... applications yeah it was a good yeah. start yeah it was a kind of uh, proof of concept but yeah we uh, we leverage on that and start uh, working more seriously with the with this solution yes so four weeks to your first process and how many processes what kind of processes did you end up developing when did you start this did i ask you that no when did you start but okay, in fact, for the, for the proof of concept, we did it four years ago. Okay, it yeah. was, it was. I would say, I would, I would say, a proof of concept. But for the real corporate first process, we started two years ago, and it took us around six months. Okay, to to build all, all the process, to to take time to document clearly what we wanted to do, to identify the the, the workflow, to define how we wanted to be implemented to meet with our clients in order to, to validate with them the different steps and if the approach will suit their needs and to start designing uh, clearly the, the, the solution in, in Bonita. Uh, we, we did it uh, yeah two week, uh, two years ago and it took mm -hmm. us around six months. Yeah. That was to, quite to, get, to get the first uh, application out. Absolutely. Uh, the one that's, that, are you still using it today, that application? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Have, have you had to modify it? Yeah, sometimes because uh, yeah. you know needs change, and uh, yeah, we have to adapt with our reality. So sometimes we make change depending on the on the needs and the reality. But uh, it's uh, it's clear that Bonita offer provide us a kind of flexibility and uh, to be in control on what we are doing and how we want things to be done. Yes. So tell us a little bit about how you um, de developed the process itself. What did you end up integrating it with uh, in order for it to be usable in the at the health center? Yeah, what I, other third party systems did you have to integrate with? Yeah, uh, it's clear that uh, for, for security processes, there were there were a lot of different uh, applications uh, already available in our environment so mm -hmm. we work a lot on developing connectors with uh, existing uh, infrastructure components um, we work uh, also with sectors some case uh, in order to um, 
to uh, to clean up and set a better quality quality of data already exist existing and uh, yeah we we use a lot of uh, connectors components of uh, bonita uh, we developed some modules and uh, a specific uh, component of the user interface that we are still reusing today uh, for other processes so you did you use the ui designer that Bonita, the Bonita yes. platform uh, supplies? Yeah, the UI, UI designer, Bonita Studio, and so on. I'm not the specialist uh, uh, in programming, but yeah, people in my team, uh, the two developers I hired, yeah, they use most of components available in order to be able to build uh, quite quickly what we need in order to mm -hmm. move on. And as we are a, um, a dynamic environment where things change very quickly, we needed to have uh, this kind of tool in order to be more agile and uh, to to respond to the to the needs that uh, shows up depending on the our physicians or researchers uh, new initiative so uh, due to the um, the complexity of acquisition it was difficult to be uh, proactive so the fact that we have solution like bonita help us to be more aligned with uh, our with, with the our um, our sector's requirement. Mm -hmm. How did how did you go about uh, develop? You, you kind of touched on this a little bit. How did you go about developing the process with uh, the stakeholders? What what were what were the steps that you use or the phases that you used from beginning to end to be sure that you've in, you've included the input of the people you needed to talk to? Yeah, but it, it, in fact, uh, most of um, most of processes we develop were security processes. So we already had a good idea of what we wanted. But at the same time, it's uh, processes that uh, involve other sectors, and uh, we need to discuss and to, to 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 interact with them in order to have a better idea of how to provide something that will uh, be uh, most effect the most effective in the organization so yeah we, we proceed uh, with a lot of workshops where we meet with people we present the requirements we identify their needs and uh, how they would like to, to to interact and work with with us and based on that yeah we were able to document clearly um, the processes we want we wanted to put in place and uh, after that, yeah, we, we, we validate with the different uh, sectors and then start designing the, 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 um, the first draft of the process in the, in the application with Bonita Studio. Mm -hmm. And duration, because it was an ongoing process. So uh, after each step, we had to meet with the different uh, stakeholders that uh, were involved in order to validate if it uh, fit with uh, what we, are, we were expecting and uh, in order to be able to provide uh, a final solution that, co that was convenient to everyone. And did you have to train your, your end users on the application before you deployed it? Yeah, absolutely. Or were they familiar with it already by the time you got there? It's, it's clear that um, as most of them are familiar with uh, web environment, and uh, the fact that uh, we used to to provide uh, components uh, that were not web based, but uh, you know it was quite um, well structured. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them were familiar with the way we work, but uh, yeah, we we had to to provide a sm small uh, training in order to allow them to to um, to start using and becoming familiar with the environment. Yes. So you said that you started working with Benita four years ago and started rolling out your first processes about two years ago. Um, what would you say? So you've had you've had some experience over a few years now with with the platform. So what would you say is the value that it's brought to your team and to your, I guess you could say your customer, the 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 users that are at the health center. Oh, a lot of value. I would say, firstly, uh, time saving, cost saving. It allow us uh, to be able to reuse uh, some of our IT infrastructure components that we will not uh, even think about 
before. Uh, but uh, because they were either standalone or we, we didn't have a way to interact with them, with, uh, but with the, by using the connectors and the API available, it uh, allows us to have a better interaction with the different uh, uh, components, IT components that we have in our institution. It gives us more autonomy okay, in, in, in terms of uh, doing things. Uh, now we have, I think, a better way to work. We are more agile and, uh, um, you know, it, it gives us a, a, an opportunity to go at our own pace because now uh, we, we don't uh, always need to, um, to, to buy something. Sometimes, yeah, we still need to buy application, but when uh, there, are needs, there are needs that we think we have enough expertise to develop, it's, uh, it's something that can, be quite, that can be done quite quickly. And uh, Bonita allows us to create very quickly application without having to manage uh, heavy and complex programming frameworks. So there are many, many uh, values that uh, I see with uh, uh, the, the use of this solution, yes. So I heard some key things in, in what you just said. You talked about the reusability aspect of, of certain elements in, in the platform. You talked about the fact that it allows you to be agile Right? Yeah. Did I hear that right? And that it allows you to, you, you have the flexibility to develop when you need to develop Absolutely. and you can develop what you need when you need yes. it with the platform. Yes. That is more adapted to our reality, yes. And you still have a small team, yes? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So you're doing all this with, what What did you say, eight people? Now we have eight people, yeah. We are yeah. eight people and uh, yeah, we're still uh, small people but uh, very efficient people. Yes, it allows you to be more efficient. Absolutely. So, what what are you what do you see happening next at uh, at the health center with with Benita? Do you have some plans for developing in the future? Yes. Uh, in fact, the, the initial goal of uh, this initiative was um, more to implement security processes. However, as we demonstrated that we can handle important volume of requests with few people. As we demonstrated that uh, we can be uh, more agile and develop in short time solution that can suit our need without having to spend years or to um, you know to spend too much time in bureaucracy, uh, the organization has started considering this tool as um, I would say a driver of the corporation corporate op optimization pro program. So. Um, uh, it's clear that uh, the use of Bonita will be extended to other processes in the organization. And as a result, I've already been um, asked by my management to work in the definition of uh, a, a new service offer in order to extend uh, what uh, we did in my department to other sectors and to progressively extend the digital transformation in our organization. So wow. yeah, I think there will clearly be a lot of developments on Bonita in the in the next years at the MHC. So so are you hiring new people for your team? Uh, probably, probably in the <laughs> next month. Yes. Okay. So if people are interested. Uh, they can send me their their resume. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, you heard that right. <laughs> Spread the word. Yeah. Uh, McGill University Health Center's IT team is looking for help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so based on based on the experience that you've just described and the and the anticipation that you have for what you're doing next, um, can you offer any suggestions or advice to the folks who are listening today? Maybe somebody has some interest in doing some digital transformation in their own organization. What what can you offer from your experience? I could tell them that uh, it's important that they spend time identifying uh, their needs, okay, defining clearly uh, their processes. Uh, in my opinion, this represents 70% of the efforts that they will put in this project because uh, the programming piece in Bonita, in my opinion, is the easiest part. But uh, yeah, the, the, what we have to do 
need to be clearly defined before starting. And mm. the second thing is, I think they, they, they have to manage expectations because yes, uh, Bonita is interesting, but it's uh, it doesn't fix all issues. It's what? only no. Oh, okay. All right. I, I'll accept that. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's a powerful tool, but uh, it's uh, just one piece, you know, in the um, in the digital transformation puzzle. So it's clear that uh, it's good tool to have, but uh, we need to manage expectation of. Uh, uh, people involved in order to ensure that uh, we are all aligned before starting. And uh, the, the the other thing I can mention is the fact that this initiative uh, has to be considered as a corporate in a in a corporate IT perspective mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I'm definitely I'm definitely convinced that uh, Bonita can help. Uh, leveraging the, the existing component of uh, our your infrastructure and uh, eventually uh, master data repositories if you, you already have some. For example, in my organization, before Bonita, we implemented, as I mentioned, an identity and access management uh, process. And uh, we defined a central repository with people, their identities, accesses, locations, sites. And now, because due to the fact that we have a solution like Bonita that can help connecting different platforms, this central repository is used in order to fed most of our organization processes that require this kind of information. So it's something that can be really powerful if it's used the, the right way and integrated in a, in a global perspective, IT perspective. It sounds like uh, partly what you're advising is that success with digital transformation depends on good planning in advance. It's not the tool that's going to make it a successful project necessarily. It's the way you put it together so that the, you can implement a good process properly with the tool. Yes. Cool. Let me ask you, uh, just open it up for you and ask you if there's anything that you'd like to add to what we've discussed already today that maybe I didn't ask you about, you didn't have a chance? Uh, maybe just, uh, I would just uh, want to thank uh, Bonita's team for inviting for invite me to this webinar and uh, to continue supporting us when needed. And uh, maybe to our, to our audience, uh, I could say that, uh, yeah, considering this kind of tool can be um, a good start for the digital transformation initiative. Great. Thank you so much for being here this morning and sharing your experience with your digital transformation project. We really appreciate you taking the time to do that with us. So I'm going to uh, first ask a couple of questions um, that we have here for Gildas. So if you're ready, um, yes. the first question is about the modifications you've made. What kinds of modifications have you made to your deployed applications? How did you roll out changes? Globally, we didn't do uh, much modifications, but generally uh, we had to work with some of our suppliers in order to be allowed to, to deploy uh, APIs and connectors in their system. So uh, most of the time, uh, yeah, there, there, there were some discussions with our suppliers in order to to be able to to, to be provided the, the the connectivity requirement for their system, but generally uh, it goes well because um, we already have um, how we say how I say um, we already have because I'm in charge of security here some specifications that we we define in the requirement when we we buy some application here so it facilitates yeah. it facilitates the integration with bonita because uh, most of uh, components we have provide either provide a way to to be connected as uh, requested in our rfps or uh, we we request them to provide us a way to extract information so instead of having connectors 
some time. Uh, it was extract of uh, data set from those system that, that were provided using FTP or, or mostly FTP in order to retrieve the, the, the information in Bonita or in order to allow Bonita to get the information required and to trigger uh, actions that need to be triggered in terms of managing the processes. So, yeah, in most of component, it was direct connection with uh, connectors we had, and based on discussion we, we, we've had with um, our suppliers, and the, in other situations when it was not always possible, we find a way to extract the information and make, make it available for, for the processes managed by Bonnie. Okay, thank you. The next question, hold on just a second while I find it here. Are your processes used by external people, like patients at the health center, or are they medical center employees and staff only? Yeah, currently uh, we are not uh, yet at the, at the level where the processes are used by patients, but it's uh, mostly used by uh, our community, internal people, our employees. In some cases, um, some are used by, by partners, for example, we have developed uh, an, anonymiz an uh, anonymization tool in order to, to manage um, patient information for research purposes. So there are some data sets that are extracted and processed uh, via proce uh, uh, treatment in Bonita and make available using our uh, private cloud system to uh, to researchers uh, that uh, works with us, but at this step we are more focusing on interaction between internal uh, people and some of our partners, but not yet uh, providing services for our patient. But it's something that we we'll probably consider in the future. So you are, you do have external people interfacing with your um, with your applications because your suppliers are external, but they're not. Uh, according to the question, they're not the patients that you work with. Okay, that makes that makes sense to me. I, I understood that. Can you tell everybody how to get a demo if they want a demonstration of what they need in Bonita? How do they go about getting a demo? If uh, they want a demo, first of all, they can go to YouTube uh, because we regularly publish webinars and demos of the product. So that's the first step. Uh, they also can contact uh, us by the contact us um, form and they will be in touch with a, a, a precise consultant which will give demos if they want. Um, otherwise, uh, I would say when we have events, we also uh, yeah. perform demos. Uh, last, uh, last demo was, for example, done by uh, one of our R&D engineer on a Spring Boot and the way to embed a Bonita engine. Uh, so that's also interesting. Cool. Thank you very much, Delphine. Thank You're you welcome. very much, Gildas. Thank you very much to everybody who joined us today for this uh, Bonita Live Tour 2019 session. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gildas. Thank you, Vicky. Bye-bye. Okay.